Hi everyone, I'm Carmen from New Leaf Designs and in this video I'll show you how to wind a mini skein. So for whatever reason you want to wind a mini skein, it's very easy to do it without any fancy equipment. You just need your ball and it is easiest if it is in a center pull ball so it doesn't roll around. You put it on the ground and then you take your yarn end, I hold it firmly in between my thumb and the palm of my hand like this, going to the back, and then I wind, wind it around my arm, and then back in the crook of my thumb. And for a fingering weight yarn, 50 reps will give you around 10 grams. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get the idea. And the uh, trickiest part is to not um, lose count, which obviously I've lost count now because I'm talking. <laughs> but um, I'll show you how to tie it together when you're done. Right, so I've done 50 repeats now. My beginning end is here and you want to cut this end so that it overlaps. So I'm cutting it like that. I'm going to twist that and basically you want to tie the ends. So I'm going to take through and then make a double knot like this. Don't make this too tight because um, if your purpose is to dye yarn then you don't want to cut it off here so that no dye can come through there. Um, then because I'm going to dye it I'll add another loop and if you want to be really good about it you want to do a little figure eight around two parts of your mini skein. So you take half and then in the middle of your mini skein you're twisting them as in a figure eight. Again, not too tight. Tying them at the end. There. And then going over, like going back over the mini skein again So I've gone, I've split the mini skein here and now I'm going over the mini skein and tying it again here and that will make it secure enough for dyeing. And you can do this with any spare yarn that you have except acrylic yarn because that will likely melt while dyeing. And then if, you, uh, if you're done dyeing and you want to wind it into a nice mini skein, I often do this around a doorknob, um, whereas where you leave this on the doorknob and you twist the other one, <laughs> I can do it much tighter on a doorknob because then I have both hands. Um, you grab the middle and then you take the one end and put it around the other. So it's a bit loose right now. On a doorknob you can get it to be much tighter and prettier, but that is essentially how you make a mini skein. <laughs> I hope this was helpful to you and thank you for watching. I hope you to see you in another video. Bye-bye.